Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy ACL Official and up next in the review series are the Giuseppe Zanotti Chris Winter Shoes. It's been a minute since I've looked at any Zanotti trainers and I don't know if you guys feel the same but I get a sense of their brands fading out of style a bit in a time where many other luxury brands are experiencing all-time highs in terms of growth and notoriety. Nevertheless, popularity doesn't necessarily equate to good quality so let's go ahead and find out just how good these Giuseppes are. Starting off with the basics, they retail for £550, but at the moment you can find them on sale for half of that at £275. They come packaged in pretty much the same way as most other luxury shoes, so in the box you'll find a dust bag and the usual paper padding. Something that instantly separates them from most other designer footwear is the inclusion of the Certi logo code. This allows the owner to check the authenticity of them straight away, so if you do pick up a pair of Zenotis, you'll want to keep this booklet safe, especially if you think you may resell them in future. Switching our attention onto the actual shoes, one of the features that immediately stands out is the fur on the inside and around the top of them. As indicated by the model name, they are winter season based shoes, so the inclusion of fur makes perfect sense, but whilst the fur made the sneakers comfy to wear, I have to admit that it felt kind of cheap when touched in hand. I could see that disappointing some people, but the quality of the leather used for the upper is great and goes a long way towards making up for this. The leather has a pebble grain like appearance and is supple meaning you don't need to worry about breaking into the shoes gradually. On top of that, the leather softness together with the fur end up creating a very comfortable sneaker that's still dressy enough to wear out to events and this combination of traits is relatively rare to find in the designer sneaker market. The shoes are rounded off with the brand's signature logo on the tongue, side zip fastenings and textured rubber soles that also feature the logo on the bottom and the back. Moving on to how they look on feet, my visuals don't really do the shoe justice, mainly because what I'm wearing in my opinion doesn't fit that well with them. I should really have changed to give you a better idea of how to style them and make them look good, but I was recording so many videos that day and constantly changing was getting long to the point where I was just like, bro, I'm just gonna keep the same things on and hopefully it comes out all right. I should still have given you enough of an insight into what they're like though, and it's also worth me mentioning that if you are planning to pick up a pair, it's recommended that you choose your regular shoe size. That sums up another review. I hope you enjoyed this one. Much more to come as well, so make sure you subscribe. Check out my Instagram pages as well. I've got one dedicated to selling. If you're looking for deals, follow that one. The other page focuses on the latest fashion news and trending content. Both links will be in the description, so feel free to have a look. But yeah, as I say, we're all done here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.